Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here, and still the voice of hardcore boxing. Right, we've got some intense beef on social media. Sadly, the legendary, legendary Hall of Fame promoter and star of one of the Rocky films, Lou DiBella, has uh, got a bit of beef with Eddie Earn. I don't know if Lou's got beef with Eddie. I think Eddie's just trying to stir the pot and cause trouble for Lou in Lou's camp. Because you see, that's what Eddie does. He did it at school, didn't he, and got expelled. And he, he's doing it with other promoters now. He's a rascal, isn't he, Eddie? He's a cheeky chappy, isn't he? Cheeky Nando's, plot up. Apples and pears and all that. He's a cheeky chappy, but the moral of the story is this. Amanda Serrano looks like she's took the bait, hasn't she? She's took the bait on social media and she's questioning Lou, Lou De Bella's integrity or... I don't know. I, I'm only going on the, the couple of screenshots that somebody sent me because I am not on Twitter. Now, if people want to send me any more screenshots, send me them. Porkycorner at mail.com. Not porkies. Porkycorner at mail.com. No capital letters. I forgot to put the S in when we did the email three years ago. But I feel for Lou Bella in this because Lou Bella's come out and he said there isn't a contract for August 22nd. So what's Eddie playing at? Eddie's trying to play mind games, isn't he? What he does, he gets into the promoter's head, causes a bit of intense beef, unsettles the fighter, then he steps in and nicks the fighter. And it's been going on for too long now, hasn't it? Now the reason I know this is because in 34 year matchroom I've had one world champion that's not been from the Team GB set up, one, and that were Herbie Hyde. They've had, that's, that's been from debut, they've had no world champions that are from Britain, none from debut that didn't go to Olympics and weren't part of the Robert McCracken set up, zero that were born in England, because Serbia had with Nigeria, one in Nigerian. All the other 50 champions that they've had, they've pinched. The work's been done for them. It's like Sky give them the platform, Dazon give them the platform, Robert McCracken gives them the fighters from the EIS, and the rest of them, they pinch. When are they going to do something with debut? When are they going to build somebody up who's like a Dave Allen or a Sam Eggington, when are they going to get them world titles? Because they keep going, don't they? They keep recycling them, don't they? But they're not going to win world titles, are they? So when are they going to do that? Why don't they get Liam Smith a world title? Can't get him a world title, can they? And he's already been a world champion. It's all right nicking other fighters un and unsettling other fighters. But you come unstuck, don't you? And a bit disappointing from Eddie, really trying to play God above everybody else, trying to lord it over everybody. So I'm Team Lou de Bella on this. Team Lou! Team Lou! So let's get behind Blue Lou and let's hope that he comes out this the other end because he's up for a battle in. Anybody who doesn't believe me, go and Google Lou de Bella, Bernard Hopkins, uh, when they went to court and Lou, Lou sued him and won in court. So he stood up for what he, he believes in. So Lou Bella's my kind of guy. He's a proper stand-up bloke. Proper stand-up. Whereas Eddie, well, we know what Eddie is, don't we? We know, don't we? He's, he's had it all on a plate, hasn't he, really? Silver spoon boy. He's had it on a plate. But I don't know what, what, uh, what uh, Eddie's problem is. Is it small dick syndrome? Because we all know that he's packing a peanut in them knickers, don't we? So is it small dick syndrome? I mean, Lou, Lou seems to be all right. He, he's prob probably happy. Lou's probably hung like a horse. But Eddie, he, he seems to have a problem all the time, doesn't he? he he's like a little Yorkshire Terrier that keeps going, doesn't he? And keeps... Yapping, 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 isn't he? The man doesn't shut up. Every time I turn on my TV, I've got Eddie Earn on IFL doing some sit down. I mean, if he's not talking about crisps, he's talking about 
numbers and other people's fighters. Look, just make the fight, said him. You're supposed to have a billion dollar war chest. He's got a billion dollar war chest. When was the last time match with him won a, a purse bid? He's telling everybody that he's Team Dylan White, Eddie, right? He couldn't even win a purse bid for the pool left fight for Dillian. They don't win purse bids. They've won seven in 34 years. Seven! They don't invest in fighters. He'd love nothing better than to sign Amanda Serrano. I am telling you now. It's all part of the plan. Unsettle them, then nick them. That's just how it works. They get somebody to whisper in their ear. Before you know where you are, bum. They did it with our fighter, Jamie McDonnell. Sent Dennis crazy. But uh, when it come down to it in Atlantic City, what happened? Dennis put it on you, didn't he, Eddie? On boardwalk. And you, it was apple crumble. You panicked. Your ass fell out. Squeaky bum. <laughs> so that's how I look at it. So, Team Ludabella... Team Lou! So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, alright? But get behind Lou DeBella. He is a genuine, genuine bloke. He wears his heart on his sleeve, Lou DeBella. He's a proper bloke who I'd love to meet one day. Whenever you come over to UK, Lou, give Big Porky a ring. You've got my number. Peace out.